Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a few months since I've last posted a video, and as you can see, a lot has changed. My hair is shorter, I have a new desk, new computer, and now it's mid-June. Since AP tests and SATs are over, I'm going to go back to my new video every four weeks schedule. In today's video, we're going to be talking printers. It may seem intimidating to go on Amazon or Best Buy and see all these different printers with different purposes and different prices. However, in today's video, we're going to be looking at two different types of printers, inkjet printers and laser printers. Both are very different in how they operate, and as a result, both have different uses and different prices. In today's video, we're going to be evaluating both types of printers, looking at how they work, looking at their prices, and looking at their maintenance costs, and seeing which one is better for you, the consumer, to buy. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with inkjet printers. These printers are commonly found in homes, small businesses, and other places in which papers are printed with large amounts of color. The way inkjet printers work is you have one or more ink cartridges. These ink cartridges move along a metal rod in order to cover the entire paper. The ink cartridges have small holes at the bottom which, in which ink is dropped out onto a paper as it is going through. The ink dries up on the paper as it leaves the printer. Now let's move on to laser printers. Laser printers can be found in many of the same types of settings that inkjet printers are found, but they are more geared towards printing text as opposed to images. Keep in mind that my description of the laser printer process is oversimplified. Laser printers consist of a large cylindrical drum. As the printer gets ready to print, the drum heats up and develops a positive charge along its surface. A laser then comes in and reverses the charge of certain areas of the drum, creating text or an image using negatively charged electrons. This is where the toner particles come in. The toner particles are positively charged, and when they come into contact with the drum, they magnetically attach. The drum then presses the toner particles onto the paper as it is fed through. After the paper receives the toner, a fuser uses heat to fuse the toner particles to the paper creating a permanent bond. This explains why papers feel warm when they come out of a laser printer. Now it's time to compare the two types of printers and see which type is better for certain needs and purposes. Let's start with price. Inkjet printers can be found on Amazon for as low as $60. However, almost no laser printers can be found under $100, and most are above the $200 mark. Given these price differences, it would make more sense to buy an inkjet printer and save money in the short run. But let's look at the prices of toner and ink. Here's an HP DeskJet going for $60. Seems like a good deal. When we look for replacement cartridges, we see it costs about $30 for a full replacement. When we look up how much a typical ink cartridge yields, we find out that an ink cartridge yields somewhere from 250 to 300 pages according to image one way. When you divide the cost of ink by the page yield, we get a cost of about 8 to 10 cents per page. Now let's look at laser printers. HP sells a laser printer on Amazon for $130. When we look at the price of toner on their website, we see that a replacement costs about $50. When we divide that by the yield of the laser printer toner, which is about 1,000 pages according to HP, we see that the price per page is about 5 cents, significantly cheaper than inkjet printers. This shows that whilst inkjet printers are more affordable in the short term, laser printers are cheaper to maintain in the long run. Now that doesn't mean that everyone should use a laser printer as both types of printers have different uses. Inkjet printers are useful for printing out colorful images alongside text documents. They also tend to produce photos with richer colors. If you're somebody who doesn't use the printer a lot or prints a lot of colored images, then an inkjet is the way to go. Whilst there are laser printers out there that can print colors, they are often big and expensive. However, if you're somebody who prints out a lot of text documents and you don't care for colors or fancy images, then a laser printer is the way to go. It is cheaper to maintain and it doesn't, it doesn't guzzle down ink like inkjets do. Laser printers also produce higher quality text documents. Let's say you are somebody who prints a lot of colored images though. This situation is problematic as you won't get good quality prints for a low price. There may be a good solution to this problem. Some printer companies are making ink tank printers that are refilled with ink bottles. While these printers can be costly and the ink bottles are costly as well, they may be a good balance between vibrance and cost. And with time, these printers may become cheaper and more widespread. Well, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and share this to anybody else who's in the market to buying a new printer. Since Windows 10 is going to be losing support in a couple years, I may make a video about that in the foreseeable future. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!